Hello everyone. Today we will see iterative statements or we can call it as looping structures. In our control structures we have seen conditional statements if, if else, else if ladder switch cases. Now we will proceed towards iterative statements. Now there are various iterative statements that we have for loop, while loop, do while and for each. Yeah, definitely for each we will be covering once we deal with the topic arrays. Like in your C you might have heard about these three iterative statements but C sharp supports for each as well. Now let me start my Visual Studio where I'll write a sample program to explain for loop. Program Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition. I'll just go for File, New Project, Console Application. I'll name it as For Example. Now, in this demo, we will see how to display your name for 10 times or how to display my name for 10 times. I would like to display my name for n number of times like for loop is used for definite iterations so whenever we know the number of iterations prior to execution we will go for for loop it's very simple for like I want to execute a statement or a block of code for n number of times say for 10 times so I'll say int i equals to 0 starts from 0 semicolon this is the syntax of your for loop semicolon i less than 10 semicolon i plus plus I'll close the bracket start floor bracket close floor bracket this is the syntax now it will start from 0 and executes whatever I write in this block like open brackets and close bracket for 10 times from 0 till 9 I value will vary from 0 till 9 now I'll just display my name console right line Manzoor and as usual we used to write console.readline just to hang out our output window console.readline I'll just press F5 so here I get the output it is displaying my name for 10 times now let us see how does this for loop works first your cursor comes to this part we call it as initialization and once it has initialized the variable i to 0 it will check the condition 0 less than 10 it's true then it's jump to the statements it execute the statement and then from here your control moves to increment or decrement part i plus plus is called as increment we are incrementing the value of i by 1 earlier the i value was 0 now the i value has been changed to 1 then again it checks the condition 1 less than 10 it's true it will execute the statement then again it increments the value of i and then again checks the condition 2 less than 10 that's true so it is going to perform the same task and the statements gets executed in this chain as long as the value of i is less than 10 as soon as the value of i reaches to 10 like 7 8 9 10 it checks the condition 10 less than 10 that's false it will skip this block and comes out of the loop and your control will jump to console.readline and it will be waiting for your input fine now i'll just put a breakpoint now I'll press F5 see that 
the value of i is 0 now I'll press F11 it checks the condition okay the condition is true it is executes the statement fine then it increments the value of i now the i value should become 1 it's 0 now I'll say F11 your i value changes to 1 you can observe it here in your local window now in the same way it will check the condition condition is true it executes the statement then again increments the value of i now i value will become 2 so this happens as long as the i value is less than 10 now once the i value reaches to 10 it will check the condition now the i value is 9 now you observe i value has been changed to 10 now i value is 10 10 less than 10 is false so it will skip the loop and comes out of the loop fine I'll say F11 your output window it prints your name for 10 time so this is simple for loop which displays your name for 10 time now I want to display I want to display integers from 1 to 100 same I can use for loop I'll write for now I'll press tab twice this is called as code snippet I'll just press tab twice so it will give me the ready-made syntax for for loop now I get int i equals to 0 i less than length i plus plus so I get the syntax ready now I'll say i equals 1 now instead of i less than I'll use i less than or equals 100 I plus plus now in my earlier code or in my code above whatever I have written for this for loop I am trying to display my name whereas here I will try to display the value of i so I will say console dot write line i now I will press F5 it should display from 1 till 10 so I'm trying to display all the integers from 1 till 10. Now in the same way I want to display all the integers from 10 till 1. I want to go in the reverse way. So I'll start from 10 and I'll check that I must be greater than or equals to 1 and in each and every iteration instead of incrementing the value by 1 I will decrement it by 1 so I will say i minus minus f5 if you observe I am starting from 10 9 8 7 6 till 1 now I will write a simple program see that this tutorial is specially for absolute beginners so I'm trying to explain how your for loop works for those beginners who do not have even the concept of C so I'll say for int i equals to 1 i less than or equals to 100 i plus plus now I want to display all the even numbers I want to display only even numbers between 1 to 100 so I'll say if the value of i percent 2 percentile is nothing but mod it will give you the remainder if I divide a number with 2 and the remainder is 0 then that number is even then that number will be even so I want to display that number console dot write line I I'll just press F5 see that it should display me all the even numbers so displaying the even numbers from 2 4 6 8 till 100 in the same sense I want to display odd numbers it's again very simple the remainder should be 
1. It should display all the odd numbers from 1 to 100. Fine. Now my last uh, example using for loop. Say for example I have a number int n equals to say any number say 6. I want to write a program which displays the multiplication table of this number n and from 1 till 10. It's very simple. I'll use again for loop. For int i equals to 1, i less than or equals to 10, i plus plus. And I'll just write console dot write line. I'll be formatting my output string. I'll say 0 into 1 equals to 2. So this will be my table format. Put comma. What should come in 0th position? N what should come in first position i and what should come in the second position definitely n into i Th this will print a multiplication table of a given number n from 1 till 10 i'll just press f5 this this should give me the multiplication table so this is how your for loop works thank you very much